6% win rate on defense on split. Meanwhile, Omen is the best attacking agent on this map. There are no Omens in this game, however, between Team Battlegrounds and Team Dev. Team Battlegrounds desperately need a win, Kevin, in order to keep their playoff hopes alive. Yeah, that's right. But again, they're against a recharged and reinvigorated Team Dev who just came off a crushing win against Llama now. So take a look at these teams here. The lineups are going to be for Team Battlegrounds. Sova, Viper, Sage, Cypher, and Phoenix. We've got the Rays, Brimstone, Cypher, Sova, and Sage for Team Dev. Volcano now. Going through the ropes. Finds some smoke. Brimstone was here. Sees some fire. We'll try to blind. Doesn't get a frag as a result, though. You know, I was uh, hoping to maybe see an omen on this map, though, because you can get some fun teleport shenanigans in the vents and sewers and all that kind of stuff. Honestly, I just see vents and sewers in my sleep already at this point. It has induced PTSD into me, so, um, you know, I don't know how I feel about casting this right now. Watch for Volcano and Phoenix. Phoenix is the second best agent on this map in defense, a 55.93% win rate. And there is Nick Wu starting things off with an elimination. And Penguin gets one as well. Actually picks up more. Woo! Ends up with the three kill there, taking out Vegas at the end. Four to one advantage now for Dev. Taking out uh, Team Battlegrounds very swiftly. Convincing round one, and that's the pistol in the bag. One nothing Devs, as you see your boy Dre for Battlegrounds playing as the Rays. And thought, Sharky has Brimstone. Yeah, I thought uh, Sharky was going to do a little bit of uh, flanking there, a la Team Mirage yesterday, throw that Brimstone on the left-hand side, cause some disruptions, just get people to stick around there for a while. But they're going to hard A-stack, just try and push through with this uh, hard eco round here. See if they can make anything happen, because if they don't, they run headlong into uh, rifles, but well, it's probably going to happen anyway. Always tough to play this corner right here and all obvious agents in heaven and oh boy it took two of them but they finally Curious got the down. Viper down. There we have it. So Team Dev now with a 4-1 to one advantage. Spike is down. It's just Brimstone remaining. Sharky's over here in the corner just praying that someone's going to run past him. Rounds the corner. He heard the footsteps. He tried to get a kill but the classic pistol's not enough. Xcal gets the last one there and Team Dev goes up two rounds to nothing. Team Dev again, impressive in the pistol rounds. They were able to win the pistol rounds in their last game as well. And as we see the economy here, now there, there's no more. Pi <laughs> now when they have the economy, they're buying. At least now they're <laughs> buying. At least now they're like, nah, nah, you know what? That was fun while it lasted, but let's not try that again. Yeah, that's right. Um... Revealing you know, I, I like this setup a lot better than the last couple of rounds or how they started the pistols, though. With the Cypher off to the side here, you can really get some good vision and annoy people while you draw attention in mid. Yeah, they are. Um, oh, actually, a lot of people spotted out there by that uh, recon drum or that recon bolt as Battleground starting to stack mid here. Here's your boy, Dre. Was thinking about the grenade, thinking about it again. Puts it away for now. Here's X Cal. The team Dev will fight, will not win that fight though, and he is out. Yeah, so X Cal loses the gunfight there. Penguin gets one right back for Dev, so not all is lost. It's a four on four at the moment, as the rest of the battlegrounds are starting to spill over to B at the moment. They come around the side. Penguin though spots them out. He gets away with his life. He didn't take too much damage. And he's just waiting for the players of Team Battlegrounds around that corner. They are throwing every ability there. The poison, the wall, whatever they can. Oh. In order to try and get some frags, and that's exactly what's happening. We're down to a 4v1, making it a 3v1. But the devs will hold on. 3 nothing. your score. That's right. So... Um, pretty incredible play there from Dev for a, a number of reasons. Even Volcano there at the end. Um, yeah, 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 I'm not right available. That's fine. But when you're in close quarters, that ghost is going to do damage. He pops out, he gets the two kill with it right away. So pretty convincing three rounds coming in from Dev at the moment. Penguin is just on 
fire right now. It doesn't matter what he does. He's able to make everything connect right now. All the well placed. We saw Nick Wu do this with Sova in game number one. Like that tricky uh, placement to get mid vision. Very, very nicely done with the recon bolt. Yeah, I love those. There's uh, if you want just for fun, load up some custom games and just start shooting recon bolts in the air as Sova. You'd be surprised where some of them end up. You can get some pretty interesting angles on them. Looks like all of Battlegrounds was trying to stack B for a little while, but uh, not going to work out for them. They're just patiently waiting to flank back around to A at the moment. But really, Dev's probably got the next round or so in the bag. Battlegrounds is going to have to pray for a couple of kills just to knock down the money of Team Dev right now. But uh, they're clearly waiting a round or two before they can pull by again and get back in this. Here comes Sharky around the corner. Will avoid the gap, has a fire fight, loses that one, and that will be multiple kills at once. Look at that kill feed. You know what's fun is walking headlong into rifles from uh, Penguin. And Volcano cleans up the last one there as well. But uh, I'm to be expected, right? Uh, Battlegrounds was echoing again. They were sitting back and waiting. So this is going to be the real test now. Battlegrounds has got to make something happen. Um, at this point, ults are going to start coming online for some players too within the next round or two, depending on how diligent they've been about orbs at this point. So if Battlegrounds can get a good round here, they're fine. They can breathe a little bit. They can find a couple of rounds before the half switches buy themselves a little bit of room there um but if they lose the next three or four rounds in a row it's going to be real tough even swapping over to defense to make this work well, penguin leading the way for team dev some excellent team play here by the developers as they take an early four nothing lead here over team battlegrounds team battlegrounds oh and one in our tournament so far Jokes earlier over. on they Not lost dead. to team llama and the developers just got done defeating Team Llama in our last matchup. Oh, man. And just as Battleground was turning around to head back into the sewers, two of them are picked off from behind, and Dev goes up very quickly fighting them. So Phoenix ult uh, used by Volcano. He ends up dying right afterwards, but uh, still might not be enough. Advantage still for Team Dev at this point. Valier checking heaven there, seeing somebody there waiting for the peak. Meanwhile, here's Xcal. Xcal of going through the ropes. Plus one in tow. Ooh, and NTT was the only one sitting here on A. Actually gets the first shot on Penguin Resurrects Volcano at the moment. NTT with the second takes out your boy Trey. Oh, looking for the third. Can't find it, but Volcano's got Sharky on the back end. And that's going to be... Uh, it's not technically a flawless round. There was a resurrection in there, but five players remaining for Team Dev. Bunny hop celebrations for all anyway, as Team Dev take a 5 to nothing lead. Boy, the positioning on point here. Take notes. I am. Penguin just <laughs> unstoppable. I know I am. Yeah, no. So so we, we like to bring this up a lot. So they've had five combined deaths through five rounds at the moment, which means that they're losing an average of one person per round right now. And as you can see, they've gotten it's not even just been like saves and walking away after plants or something like that for battlegrounds. They've been killed every single time. So things not looking great for uh, Team Battlegrounds. Welcome Again, it is world. defender favored, but uh, maybe not this Volcano gets Sharky early. Here's Xcal at Heaven on A, just waiting for a couple of competitors. You're gonna come behind him. You might wanna take a hard right turn, but they will be met by one of the teammates. There's the slowing and the action shall commence. I have received the spot. That was fixed the kill, but the rest of Team Dev has come in. They finish it off. Uh, he actually ends up sneaking another kill into NTT there right at the end, but Penguin finishes up the last one there. So it's just really nothing working for Battlegrounds. And they're clearly getting good angles. They're getting a couple of good shots here and there. So things are working, but I don't see anything in their play that's like, man, they're just using this brimstone so well to open up the side, or Cypher's just really getting key vision for them or something along those lines. They're honestly just setting up into traps. They're running into angles angles that uh, their opponents have covered. They're running away at the exact moment that Cypher scans them with the camera and then they get two killed in the back. So things just not going well for them at the moment. Venerated. Your boy Dre. 
Waiting for the wall to come down. There's the ice. Recon won't do much. Find some smoke as well as they try to make their way to heaven. Boys and orb emitting. See, this is this is what haunts me. What NTT is doing right there. Anyone in vents or sewers who pokes their head over the top, I just I can't stand it. It makes me want to cry every time I get killed there, and I get killed there every time, and I peek it every time, and I still die every time. Sorry, I'm very upset. I'm very upset. You know what else uh, could use a nerf is the power of those ice walls, the amount of bullets oh. it takes. Unless you have an Odin, we talked about that yesterday. I am all on Team Odin. I'm all about a 5 Odin meta. Oh, that ult! Oh, wow! How about the I fire know exactly taking where down you are. One of the dev, well, well placed. Thank you! They're listening, they get the vision, immediately the ult comes down afterwards, they're using their team's abilities, but they unfortunately run directly into Nick Wu and Volcano using those dual ops, sitting at the back, they pick off a couple more kills, and they Come give on, Team Dev go. a fighting chance. What seems like it could have been insurmountable for a while, now seems a lot more uh, doable. Good ult though, is he clears out two of the tripwires. Shark gets the kill on Nick Wu, just one player remaining, that's gonna be it. Volcano goes down, and that's finally the first round on the board for Team Battlegrounds. Just seconds after the res off of the ult gets fragged, in the, like very, very tough. But it is six to one, Battlegrounds are on the board. If you take a look at the economy there, looks like it's gonna be a full buy for both teams. More uh, ultimates are ready for Vegas and your boy Dre, and Venerated as well. Don't so get three cozy. alts to one set up right now. Oh, this is a nice spot. And that round win came at a pretty good time. Their economy is not looking awful. They've had enough round loss streaks in a row at this point. That combined with a fairly light buy on guns, they're in a good spot. So they need to sneak a couple more rounds here though before they swap onto the defender side of things. Nowhere to run. As Volcano picks off the first member of Team Battlegrounds, Valiate goes down around the side. So Cyprovision oh, no. lost through the rest of this. Your boy Dre gets the kill on Excal though. Ties things up. So we're four on four. Here's your boy Dre. Decides I'm gonna head on over, take a trip down sewers. See what I can find there. Smelly, nasty, awful things. That's all. Yeah, won't find too many opponents though, as there's still a little bit of a ways away until they get around that corner. Off. Meanwhile, Entity is waiting as well. Vegas with the Resurrection there to bring Team Battlegrounds back up to full strength. So they're back at five. Cypher still passing over. Oh, hey, Penguin oh. though with the great angles. Last two kills finally taken out by Venerated. NTT on the other side as well. Another great angle takes out Venerated and Vegas. Now it's just one player remaining. Valiate goes down. Volcano gets the last kill. That's another round win for Team Dev. They say momentum. Who cares about that? They come right back. It's a six round lead for them now. I'm ready to say that Team Dev looking absolutely scary and that Team Canyon game from game one might have just been an anomaly. I would love to see Team Canyon and Team Dev in a matchup with this Team Dev mindset. I'm not ta again, I'm not taking anything away from Team Canyon's win. I think they are a formidable team and they have a great chance to make the playoffs. But Team Dev is looking very scary right now. I hope that Team Canyon's that good. Again, I agree with you, who knows? May, may have been a different team here. Oh, well, Volcano, I'm sorry, taking the first kill on Venerated there, but Team Canyon looked good. And I'm just hoping we're gonna get more good teams and we don't just have to worry about who's gonna lose to the depths next go round. Excal gets a kill on Valiate as well, so a quick 2-0 for Dev. Volcano fills, uh, follows with another kill on Sharky. Your boy Trey answers back on Volcano but still a 4-2 advantage. Now make it 4-1 as Penguin takes out your boy Dre. Nick Wu once again with the Operator has been using that all tournament. Absolutely loves to punish opponents turning around corners. Oh, and that was a great frag there by Vegas. Vegas now will peek around the corner at Garage. Notices there's a couple of agents there and says, all right, I'll go back for a second. Vegas with signs of life there. It's been a rough match for him so far at this point. And nice wall there. It secures him the spike, 
Not sure if Cypher saw this, but Cypher's still waiting for that wall or still looking at the general direction of the garage and that wall. Vegas, though, coming through garage at the moment, going to peek on a B here. And gets walled himself. Anything you can do, I can do better. It's the Battle of the Walls. Where do you go? Where do you go now? Uh, I guess apparently nowhere, and you just save a gun and pray, because there's no way he's getting back to a site now and planting with just seven seconds left in the round. Interesting how his own wall was used to fend off opponents, but then trying to get onto B site. A wall was used to fend him off. So really, the winner of that round were the ice walls. I'm actually surprised at that point. If you have that level of commitment, like, why, why don't you just bust down the wall and try? I, I don't know. I mean, it it feels like if you are if you feel fairly good about your position, you're going to risk your life to run out and grab the spike at that point. If you're intending to save, like, is the, is the wall really it? Is that what makes you go, oh, shucks, I guess we're done. I suppose so. So an impressive 8-1 to one lead here for Team Dev. They have looked absolutely dominant. At one point, you mentioned that they were averaging only one elimination on their team You're per dead. round. A little recon yeah. there by Venerated. Won't find too much. It's not like everyone on Team Dev is winning. As actually, Sharky takes out Nikawu with good headshot. Volcano answers with two, but gets taken out by Venerated there. So a two for two so far. And up to this point, Penguin snags a kill. Two more. See, there it is. I was just about to say, they're not winning like, oh, we get one kill and then we're traded or something like that. Every single time, Penguin is walking away with, with two. Nick was walking away with two. They're managing to grab multiple kills in every scenario and, uh, you know, every time you try to push into a site if your heart stopped by two guys what do you do about that you can't overwhelm anything if 2v5 is still not going in your favor Valier rotating between garage and mid seeing a lot of poison and mid with the headshot there but will get fragged to end the round make it nine to one for the devs oof oof i think uh I think Battlegrounds has got their work cut out for them. We talk about uh, defender-sided maps on a pretty regular basis. Of course, it, they'll probably show more signs of life whenever we swap sides here. But you're getting to that point this where you, you never want to have to count guys. on too many rounds this on the defender go. side of things. Because sure, yeah, you're, you're probably favored as you get into like normal econ rounds and stuff like that. But anyone can win a pistol. And if you lose the pistol, you're immediately in a force fight just to try and save your whole match. That's no fun. I don't care how defender-sided things are. So, Battlegrounds has got to get a round or two here. And we saw that when you saw the KDA screen and the Eco screen earlier. There but haven't been many going? plants on this attack. Team Dev has been able to dispatch the Battlegrounds before they can even get oh, on the oh, oh. oh boy, and look at that. NTT with two. Xcal and Nick were picking off two more. Xcal goes off the turn. But this is about to be a quick 10-1 in favor of Team Dev as Penguin finishes off the last kill. Look at those score lines. 14-2, 14-7, 12-4. When the last place person on your team who's mostly collecting vision is 5-3, and three, you know you're in a pretty good spot. Uh, that, I, I, if I'm reading that correctly, I don't think there has been a plant this round at all, or th this match at all. Let's see... Do, 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 do. Yeah, the last one was just a run out of time. He didn't plant on that. That's what the hourglass one is there for. Everything else has been an elimination. You're, you're correct. Wow. <laughs> That's how dominant this has been. Not a single plant of the spike so far. And I believe I saw my first Odin of the tournament. Let's go. Yes. I, w I was just going to bring Finally. it up. I know you're so happy right now. Let's oh, wait, go. Wait, wait, look. It's in all five of Battlegrounds. Oh, this is perfect for no. Infomercial for the Odin. Uh, all right. Well, Odin unsuccessful. Dev down three to four. Penguin getting a kill on the retake there. Takes out Sharky. I know we'll see exactly. If they... Oh, wow. Actually, with the Resil Volcano, we're now back to even. And they certainly could make a retake happen at this point. Battlegrounds with their first plant of the game. Penguin from around the side. A great Cypher ult to give him vision of his opponents. Valiant is back on Penguin. But Excal and Volcano come right back. There's one player remaining for Battlegrounds. Ooh. Oh and my, dead. and it will be, I believe they will have enough time to defuse here. So in the first spike plant of the game, the devs still 
in the last round before the switch. Make it 11 to 1, almost a clean sweep on one half. There's no better feeling when you're trying to take out your opponent's drone and you accidentally wall bang, get yourself a kill on the retake. Amazing. So everything going in favor of Team Dev at the moment. We have swapped sides. We are now um, uh, back to pistols, but there's only two rounds to give for Team Battlegrounds at this point. And yeah, they got to make a lot of things happen in a row here. And this is a reinvigorated Team Dev. I'm not sure if they can do it. This this is definitely looking to be the most dominant performance that we have seen in this tournament. And it just continues on here. We have made the switch. Team Deb with 11 points are on the attack. And now Team Battlegrounds will be the one to defend. And remember, their playoff lives are essentially on the line here. They are 0-1. They did lose to Team Llama. They are desperately in need of a win here in order to stay alive. That's right, battlegrounds. You can't you can't get team rifted here. You gotta you gotta win more than one round. We we expect more at this point. Now, um, battlegrounds is actually set up pretty well here. They've got a couple on the flank. Looking at your boy Dre's perspective, who is actually in a pretty good spot initially to be able to peek in, but was warded off by the stage wall. Volcano gets a kill. And the first frag goes over to Team Dev. Team Dev moving around on B site, defending. Nate, there's Xcal. They've had terrific pistol rounds all tournament. You can see a lot of ghosts there being utilized. Here's Volcano. Volcano gets the instant headshot, but then does not get rewarded. Gets eliminated himself in another firefight, and that will be Penguin will be able to plant, and that will be match point. Who boy! So, remember what we said before, when you've only got a couple of rounds to work with, it doesn't matter when you go to pistol and then into a low eco round. Man, I gotta say, Dev just adding insult to injury through all these rounds as well. The one chance it looked like that Battlegrounds was gonna have a chance to make something happen right at the end of the last half. An amazing play by Dev to come back with a resurrection and a retake and... Things are just not looking great, unfortunately, for Battlegrounds. They're forced buying a bunch of Sheriff's Inspectors. Probably not sitting that pretty on armor. This is rough, Arda. This is rough. This is going to be very rough for Battlegrounds. They're essentially going to have to go 12 straight rounds, and there has been no indication that that would even be possible by any team in this tournament. The way Team Dev are playing right now, it looks like they have just become everybody's favorite to win this tournament outright yet again. There was a little bit of uncertainty, a little bit of concern whether the initial predictions of a Team Mirage, Team Dev final would materialize after what happened in the Team Dev matchup against Canyon. But right now in these last two matchups against Llama and here, a absolute demolition against Battlegrounds. The spike has been planted. They are in great position right now. Battlegrounds looking to rotate in desperation here. Will they have any sort of muster? There's one elimination, but that is it. Team Dev get their second win of this tournament.